I've known for some time that religion tends to focus everything that is good outside of the individual. Now, Buddhism may be an exception to that. In fact, I'm sure it is. But we're taught everything that's good about us, that happens to us, is the result of some outside force, a God, if you would, uh, God's grace being imparted upon us. Well, even thinking itself is externalized. In fact, I've heard the presuppositional apologist Cy Tembrukenke say that the first sin in the Garden of Eden wasn't Eve eating the apple. It was Eve deciding to think for herself, not to solely rely on God to do her thinking for her. We're told by mainline Christianity that we're degenerate sinners worthy of damnation, of eternal torture. Now, I think this is a tremendous insult to everyone. It's an insult to our humanity. And I've tried to influence those around me to help them stop looking outside of themselves and to look inside of themselves, to think for themselves, to take credit for what they do right and take responsibility for what they do wrong. And perhaps most importantly, if you're going to take responsibility, then you need to be skeptical in the broadest sense of the word so that you don't just accept anything, but you have good reasons for what you believe. So I've come to understand more recently that what religion is doing is convincing people to project outside of themselves. Now, I've known that God is really an anthropomorphized view of reality. In other words, uh, God is, specifically the Christian God, is a, a human-like metaphor for reality. I mean, we're social animals, so what better way to relate to the universe around us than the way we relate to other people? That's what we're good at. But I think it's more specific than that. I think what people are projecting is not just some vague human-like quality, but they're projecting what they want to be, their idealized version of themselves, onto this greater concept of reality, this God concept. I mean, who wouldn't want to be Christ-like, connected to everything, and all-powerful, and all-knowing, and forgiving, and loving, perfect? In other words, what I'm saying is this God concept is really people's idealized version of themselves that they're convinced is outside of themselves that they can never get to. And what I have to say to those that are religious, or even if you're not religious and you're still searching, that what you're searching for is within you.